Hello YouTube, this is Brian the Duke, and Affinity Designer 1.9 is out in beta right now. This is not for a commercial release, so I don't recommend um, open, uh, saving old files on this program yet, because this is only in beta. Now, I noticed that one of the new tools here is this tool, the Contour tool. So, um, I'm going to just show you a little of what it is. So, I'm going to take the Pencil tool, and I'm going to just do this, make a stroke, and now I'm going to take the contour tool and I make the, um, I can create a mass out of that stroke. Now this white, I can color this white in, but this is not actually a fill. It can be treated as a fill and you can still align the strokes as a fill, but now once I bake the appearance, now it is a fill and now I can resize it the way I want. Uh, I mean manipulate, not resize. Whereas if I undo this, see how this is still treated as a stroke. Now if I um, don't use, if I don't draw with a pencil tool, if I use like say the square, like this, like one of the shape tools, and now use the contour tool, see that I create more mass. So it's really just enlarging the shape. So I'm going to show you three different advantages for the contour tool. So the first advantage is uh, creating stripes on clothing. Now I use this uh, character several times. I know I've recycled my artwork a lot. Now um, the second video in my Affinity Designer tips and tricks playlist I uh, gave an example of when to expand and when not to expand your stroke um, <clears throat> and I showed that you could use an outline effect for some examples so on the on Angie's chart here so if I click on one of these stripes previously I said you could use an outline effect But now that we have the contour tool, what we are going to do is, uh, oh, and these stripes are clipped into her shirt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold shift and uh, select different stripes here. I'm not going to select all of them. Like I'll start right here. And now I'm going to take the contour tool and now I'm going to enlarge this. Now it looks like it's creating multiples, but there, it's not. The space in the fill right now in between is just empty, see? So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna change the stroke to a black and the fill to a white. And maybe even bring the stroke down a little. And see how it makes, and see how it, it makes quite a difference. And I'll see how um, this stroke over here is kind of overlapping. So I'm going to just take this and bring it over a little. And now I'm going to just uh, copy this. And now select these other stripes. And I'm not going to do every one of them. So edit, paste style. Therefore, I don't have to do I don't have to uh, do the same format to every one. So this is really good for fabric. And now the second approach, see over here how um, in this drawing I have a wired fence. Uh, these are all individual shapes. But now, if I want to get more complex, um, I could use the contour tool. So what I'm going to do. And I want to uh, use strokes. I mean, I could take each of these shapes and I could enlarge them, but I don't want to do it that way because let's say if I want to uh, bend or manipulate the strokes more, it's easier to manipulate strokes than it is to manipulate uh, shapes. So I'm going to hide this. I'm going to hide the different characters. Okay, so I'm going to just select these 
um, bars and delete them. Oh, and once I let go, it automatically, the selection automatically goes to the next one. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, copy the color. That way, um, yeah, and by doing that, it means that uh, when I want to apply a fill, the color will already be there. So I'm just deleting all these, delete. Okay, so I'm going to take the pen tool and I'm going to click, hold shift, click. Stroke tool, just do that. Take the contour tool, color, and set behind. All right. Um. What? Now I want to have this be the same stroke size. So, if I click on this, I'll see that the stroke size is two point five. So I want to do the same thing. Now I'm gonna. Uh, oh, I'm holding Command and Shift to just constrain. And now. Um, so actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually do this. Now holding shift to drag that way out. And I'm going to hold shift to drag this way out. And now holding command and shift, I'm going to just drag. Now command J. Now, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna click on all these and I'm gonna group them together. And now I'm gonna take the crop tool. Do that. Now I'm going to copy Command C, paste, now crop this. Put a node there, put a node there, and then you could have like Superman like bending the bars and getting through the fence or something. So that's a good way to do that. Okay, so um. Now the now the third approach is um, so here's uh, I got an account on the website maker um, dot io and cr I created a dress up game I'm probably gonna post a video later so you can also create um, the character's weight so in uh, the face for example if I wanted to to have a, a fatter head I could uh, take the contour tool and do that. I mean, it looks kind of silly like that, but and um, so even with the shirt, let's see, and then I would uh, take these. And now for the body, it's a little different. Now, this is what happens with the b body. Like, it doesn't always go the way you want. So let's say I wanted to have this come out a little. So let's say I wanted to have her be a, a bigger or a thinner. So if I, open, if I open this up, it depends on whether I want her bigger or, or thinner. So it depends if I want this stroke to be visible or this stroke to be visible. So let's say I wanted to have her be a little bigger in this example. I mean, it's not the way this is going to come out, but I just want to give an example. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to press bake corners up here. Now I'm going to take the node tool. And now uh, when you hold 
option or, or alt for windows uh, you bring up a lasso tool so I'm gonna highlight all these strokes uh, I'm sorry all these nodes And now I'm going to press delete. But now let's say I wanted to have her be thinner. So I'm going to uh, do the same thing, hold alt and select all of the outer nodes. And delete. And now selecting her shirt. Wow, she, you know what? She just lost weight in 10 seconds. Thanks, contour tool. Then you can make some adjustments. So this is very helpful, this contour tool. So I hope um, these three approaches I showed you was very helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching.